A low random person who I assume is both intelligent and good looking. What is up guys, Rick Hackis here, and sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I have been on vacation. But this is the overview of the Jacobs SMG. Now you may be saying there is no Jacobs SMG and you would be right. This is opening a discussion onto a possible idea for the Jacobs SMG and really kind of talking about why there isn't a Jacobs SMG and why there should be and why it could easily fit in the game. So let's go over the stats first and foremost. The damage would be somewhere between 5,000 to 25,000 and all Jacob's SMGs would have a times three to a times six multiplier with it. The accuracy would be about 60 to 90. The fire rate is very high, something around 20, but it is single fire. You have to press the trigger each time it shoots, like all other Jacob's guns. Reload speed is pretty standard at around two to four seconds. Magazine size, anywhere from five to 25. And elements, none. Jacob's guns do not have elemental effects. So, the overview of this gun, my idea is, if you're listening, you may be thinking, wow, that sounds familiar, because it's actually the Maggie. Basically, what I described is the Maggie um, legendary pistol, which, if you don't know, is a Jacob's pistol, and it's basically a single-shot pistol that shoots, it always has a multiplier. I think it, the more accurate ones have a times 6 multiplier, and then... If it has a times 10 multiplier, it's much less accurate. But uh, basically, that's the premise for the Jacobs SMG, is that they would be obviously less powerful than the Maggie, um, and also a little bit less accurate, but they would basically be essentially the same as Maggie's, is that you would go around and you'd fire them, and they would always shoot a spread, always times 3, times 4, times 5, or times 6. And so this would make it so that the times, you know, a times 6... Uh, one of these would have lower damage at around the 5,000 mark and times three obviously would have higher damage but basically the premise of this gun is that the the multipliers are low enough and the damage is a little bit lower so they're not as good as shotguns up close they would be outclassed by shotguns up close however uh, medium range they'd be very very effective because you know they're a little bit more accurate than shotguns they have a little bit more uh, ammo in a magazine and so that would be their their kind of range would be more medium range long range though since their accuracy doesn't really go the high most commonly you're gonna find them with accuracies of around 70 or 80 so they don't become pinpoint accurate and so you're not gonna be able to snipe guys from afar you're always gonna be you know missing your sh uh, some of your shots as you shoot in a group so these guns would just be really really good in kind of medium range engagements and uh, I can just see this fitting in very very well you know the Jacobs pistols and, and assault rifles would be a little bit better at long range and these would kind of bridge the gap between the Jacobs uh, shotguns and, and those because they would be very very good middle uh, medium range now something I want to address is a lot of people you know my stats are a little bit higher than what uh, they usually are, and I should say these, the stats I gave were level 61 stats. Um, obviously, you know, there's way too much to take into account of if I talked about them, you know, starting at level 1 and leveling up and stuff like that. These are level 61 stats. And again, a lot of people, they've said, you know, my stats seem a little bit high. Well, that's because they are. Frankly, 99.9% .9 of the guns at level 61 are useless. You cannot find a purple banded assault rifle and have it be useful it's just going to be utterly utterly useless and same with you know same with 99 percent of the guns out there torg assault rifles um those are a little bit more useful but you know jacob's uh shotguns anything you find as purple is not good enough you need you need pearl essence or you need legendaries which is kind of bullshit in my opinion you should be able to find very very hard to find purples and just by random chance, they should be able to at least kill some guys, for goodness sakes. And so these, the stats I'm giving, are guns that, obviously if you find a green one of these, it's not going to be their best in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. But the stats go high enough so that if you found a purple with excellent stats, you would actually be in luck. You would be kind of in the Borderlands 1 style of things where you can find purples that are actually good. And, you know, I really miss that from Borderlands 1. So that's just addressing why people think these stats are so high. 
But then again, uh, again, continuing with the overview, I think it would be a really, really funny idea is if, well, not really like, hilarious, but I think it would be an interesting idea is if these were called the Jacobs SMG and SMG was in brackets and all it was was it would be normal pistols just like the Maggie except for they would just have the buttstock and then they would have front um, front grips like vertical grips and it's kind of Jacobs like a play on Jacobs how they they would try to introduce the SMGs and all they would do is have their pistols with multipliers I think that would fit perfectly into the uh, Borderlands you know canon of things and you know into the ma manufacturer like the aspects of Jacobs and what it's like as a company I think it would fit. I really think that this would fit in the game. There's no reason why it isn't in the game. It still keeps the, you know, Jacobs style, the Jacobs single fire. And there already are, like, guns. Like, the you can get a Jacobs assault rifle that has a times 3 prefix. And that kind of is almost like an SMG. You can't use it very, very long range. Um, it's outclassed in extremely close ranges. But it's very, very good middle range. That's essentially what I'm describing. Basically, there already are technically Jacobs SMGs in the game. It just would be a lot more fun. I think a great legendary would be that if uh, what a, w the same gun I kind of described, but the bullets were frag rounds. They would explode at randomized distances. So you'd be shooting and it would just, you know, all these explosions everywhere. But uh, if it hit an enemy, it would explode. But also it would explode. It could explode in the air before it hit him. So this would be kind of a really, really powerful gun because you are shooting explosive rounds. But also, uh, you have to kind of play the close quarters games because, again, the bullets would randomly explode at a, at a random distance. So if you're trying to shoot guys far away, you may be able to destroy them right away or your bullets might be exploding before they even get there. I think that would be really neat, kind of a little bit like the flacker, but not quite. Um, and I just think that would be a really fun uh, idea. Put, I want you guys to leave in the comments your ideas for any legendaries um, that you might have. You know, I'm only one person. I've heard some great ideas already. Some, someone came up with for the doll. Uh, someone came up with some awesome legendaries for the doll shotguns. And you know, so again, leave in the comments if you have a different idea than me. If you agree with me, I really want to get a discussion going because you know maybe someone from Gearbox will drop by and finally realize that. We as a community don't just want more levels, we would want more loot, um, even more. So, hope you enjoyed the video, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, have a good day.